10 Historical Events That Changed the World Forever 1. The invention of the printing press in 1440, this technological breakthrough revolutionized the way information was disseminated, making knowledge and ideas more accessible to the masses. 2. The discovery of America in 1492, Christopher Columbus's discovery of the New World had a profound impact on world history, leading to the colonization of the Americas and the establishment of European power in the Western Hemisphere. 3. The Protestant Reformation in 1517, this movement within Christianity led by Martin Luther challenged the authority of the Catholic Church and sparked religious and social upheaval in Europe. Crazy true facts about Hollywood. Humphrey Bogart is buried with a whistle. He gave it to Lauren Bacall when they filmed their first movie together to have and have not. She dropped it inside his coffin before he was buried. It's inscribed, if you want anything, just whistle. Psycho was the first movie to ever show a toilet flushing. In addition, all the blood shown in the movie was actually chocolate syrup. The Hollywood sign used to say Hollywood Land and was built in 1921 to promote a new housing development. It was once lit by thousands of light bulbs and was only expected to stay up for a couple years. By the 1970s, the sign fell into disrepair. It was Playboy founder Hugh Hefner who helped raise funds to restore it to its former glory. Peg Entwistle was a young Broadway actress in the early 1930s who tried to make it big in Hollywood. But after her career faltered, Entwistle became famous for another reason. That's because she is the first person to take their life by jumping from the top of the Hollywood sign. The blinking light on top of the Capitol Records building spells out the word Hollywood in Morse code. The reason Hollywood became the center of filmmaking was because back in the early 20th century, Thomas Edison held most filmmaking patents in New Jersey. In order to escape Edison's lawsuits, early filmmakers moved as far west as they could. Legendary Hollywood producer Hal Roach used to employ someone he called a wildie, who was either a drunk or an insane person to sit in the writer's room and spout crazy ideas whenever anyone experienced writer's block. Hollywood is at a pop population of feral chickens living under the freeway since the early 1970s. No one knows how they got there, and all efforts to remove them have failed. First ancient torture method, rats. This horrific form of torture began during the Dutch Revolt. The method involves trapping rats inside a bottomless cage that is laid atop a victim's abdomen. Burning coals were then placed on a small tray on top of the cage, heating the metal from above. Desperate to escape the heat, the rats would then burrow through the only soft surface they could find, the victim's flesh. Scafism. The Persians invented this nightmare fuel method in which the victim was placed in two hollowed out logs or boats. With their heads and limbs sticking out, the victim was force fed milk and honey, causing them to have uncontrollable diarrhea, which would fill up around them. Then the executioners would pour more honey over the victim's face, all of which would attract swarms of biting insects to feast, while the person would slowly expire of a combination of dehydration and bite wounds. The Blood Eagle. The Vikings allegedly came up with this nightmarish method. The victim's hands and legs were tied to prevent escape. Then the executioner would stab the victim by his tailbone and rip towards the rib cage. Each rib was then meticulously separated from the spine with an axe. Then the still living victim's lungs were pulled through the opening to form a pair of bloody wings. Strange facts that sound fake, but aren't. In 540 CE, Sasanian Emperor Khosrow I sacked the city of Antioch, after which he proceeded to build a new city that looked almost exactly the same, giving it a name that roughly translates to Khosrow made this city better than Antioch. Genghis Khan had a descendant named Kudalun, who was a fearsome warrior in her own right. Throughout her life, she refused to marry anyone unless her suitor could beat her in a wrestling match. No one ever defeated her. Every time she faced a challenger, she required them to bet some of their horses. It's believed she acquired as many as 10,000 horses throughout her lifetime. The Old West was actually a lot more peaceful than the movies would lead us to believe. The idea of the Old West gunfight was actually born out of the old western dime novels and was first brought to life in the town of Palisade, Nevada, a sleepy little town that got the idea to stage fake western-style shootouts and bank robberies in order to drum up tourism. After the vice president Do you know that Thanksgiving used to look a lot more like Halloween? 
Ragamuffin Day began in New York City shortly after Abraham Lincoln established Thanksgiving as a national holiday in 1863. After that, school children began dressing up as homeless people and began going door to door on Thanksgiving begging for treats. Over time, a commercial market sprang up for the sale of costumes and masks. Eventually, costumes began being sold featuring cowboys, pirates, and cartoon characters. As Ragamuffin Day grew more and more popular, children dressed in costumes would clog the streets of New York. One reporter said it looked like a parade. This became the inspiration for Thanksgiving morning parades. By the Great Depression, the idea of children going door-to-door -door begging for food was considered in poor taste. During the 1930s, a series of articles appeared calling for the end of Ragamuffin Day. The last Ragamuffin Day occurred in 1956. But despite that, children still loved dressing up and going door-to-door -door asking for treats. So instead, the practice of trick-or-treating was between. Conspiracy theories that turned out to be true. Have you ever heard of Project Sunshine, the official government program that stole the bodies of human children? Back in 1955, the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission came up with a plan to collect human tissue and bone in order to study the effects of radioactive fallout on the world's population. The problem is the scientists involved in the study turned to straight-up body snatching in order to perform their research, none of which was revealed to the public until four decades later. Back in the 1950s, with all the atomic testing going on around the world, the one thing we didn't fully understand understand was the effects radiation had on the human body. In 1955, the Atomic Energy Commission wanted to learn how much strontium-90 would be absorbed from nuclear fallout. But in order to do so, scientists began stealing tissue samples from the human cadavers, many of them babies, without the parents' knowledge or consent. One British mother later revealed that her stillborn baby's legs were removed by British doctors who prevented her from finding out what happened. She wasn't even allowed to dress the infant for a funeral. More than 1,500 samples from around the world were gathered by these body snatchers. Strangest Plot Twists in History, Part 3 Robert Ledru was one of the most famous detectives in Paris. In 1887, Ledru was sent to Le Havre to investigate the case of some missing sailors. But the day after he got there, he was asked by the local police to help with a different case, the murder of a prominent businessman named André Monet, who was shot and killed on the beach the night before. Monet wasn't robbed, and there was no apparent motive for the crime. Ledru went to the crime scene and noticed footprints leading up to and away from the corpse. But after examining the crime scene, he appeared troubled. He ordered plaster casts to be made of the footprints. Soon after, Ledru sat down on the beach and thought about the case for hours. When he finally got up, he revealed to the local authorities who committed the murder. It was him. Ledru was missing one of the toes on his foot, and he noticed the footprints in the sand were also missing a toe as well. This explained why he had woken up that morning with wet feet, a missing bullet in his revolver, and no memory of what he had done. Ledru realized he must have committed the murder while sleepwalking. Police were skeptical at first. However, ballistics proved the bullet recovered was fired from Ledru's revolver. While in prison, the authorities tested Ledru by leaving a gun in his cell that was loaded with blanks. During the night, Ledru got up and fired it at a guard. As a result, Ledru was sent to live on a secluded farm outside Paris where he could never hurt anyone else. Most shocking plot twists in history. Stick around to the end because you won't believe this one, but it's true. Back in 1958, a gifted 16-year-old student was attending Harvard University when he was accepted into a three-year-long psychological experiment. This study was being run by psychologist Henry Murray, who gave the young man the code name Lawful. What Lawful didn't know was that Murray's experiment was actually part of the CIA's sinister psychological program known as MKUltra. This particular experiment was designed to test the effects of stress on the human psyche. The CIA wanted to know how far you can mentally push someone before they cracked. In the experiment, the 22 Harvard test subjects, including Lawful, were first asked to write a detailed essay, in which they summarized their worldview and personal philosophy. But after that, a team of trained interrogators under Dr. Murray's guidance proceeded to subject these students to harsh and personally abusive interrogations designed to destroy their worldview and psychologically destroy them. By the time the experiment was over, Lawful was completely disillusioned and emotionally scarred. Later in life, Lawful would form a new view of the world and begin to write it all down. You may have even read some of his manifesto. You see, that's because Lawful's real name was Theodore Kaczynski, better known as the Unabomber.